Spokane is a new process to review potentially offensive landmarks and street names. The ordinance is similar to the one former Mayor Nadine Woodward vetoed back in July. The Spokane Human Rights Commission will receive requests from the community and will determine whether the landmark or street name in question is likely to cause mental pain, suffering, or disrespect. The request will then be forwarded to the Office of Civil Rights, Equity and Inclusion for additional review. This is the latest development in a process started by the Pacific Islander community to remove a statue downtown. There is absolutely offensive language um, on that statue. Um, those were things that 100 years ago were things that were... Um, um, we're acceptable in that time to say that we obviously know now um, and should have known then that those were things that, that we cannot say about entire groups of people. And that statue is of John R. Monahan, a Navy soldier who was involved in the colonization of Samoa in 1899. It includes a plaque that describes Samoans as savage foes and depicts them wielding primitive weapons. This is a small step in righting a wrong. Um, I really look forward to us passing this. I know that this reverberates just outside of Spokane. I'm sorry that it's taken this long, um, but I can't wait to be there when it happens. New Councilwoman Lili Navarrete, who is a Mexican immigrant, described her experience growing up in a colonized country with monuments that honored colonizers. In a constant reminder of an architecture or a writing that reminds us of being oppressed and killed. It's not what I want for my constituents. So I will be supporting the removal and hopefully the proper process will be passed.